the pulsating rhythms and vibrant melodies of African music have reverberated beyond the continent, leaving an indelible mark on global music genres. As we embark on this journey, let's trace back to the cradle of humanity, where the earliest known influence of African music began. Africa, an expanse of diverse cultures, tribes, and languages, is the birthplace of music as we know it. But what made African music so unique and influential? The answer lies in the ancient African instruments, rhythms, and melodies. Imagine the resonating sound of the djembe, a West African drum made from goat skin echoing through the air. Picture the melodious strumming of the kora, a 21-string lute bridge harp used extensively in West Africa, or the rhythmic clinking of the mbira, a thumb piano from Zimbabwe, creating a mesmerizing melody. Each instrument, with its unique sound, added a different layer to the musical landscape. But African music was, and still is, much more than just instruments. The rhythms and melodies formed a language of their own, a means of communication that transcended words. They narrated stories, traditions, and the daily life experiences of the people. Perhaps the most profound aspect of African music was its communal and spiritual significance. In traditional African societies, music was not merely a form of entertainment. It was an integral part of important ceremonies, rituals, and communal gatherings. It was a way of connecting with the ancestors, the divine, and the community. This spiritual and communal aspect of African music made it deeply rooted in the society, influencing the way music is perceived and experienced to this day. In essence, African music was a symphony of life, a celebration of the human spirit. Its rich and diverse musical heritage laid a solid foundation, not just for the continent, but for the entire world. Today, the echoes of African rhythms and melodies can be heard in various music genres across the globe. The rich and diverse musical heritage of Africa laid a solid foundation for a global musical revolution. As African rhythms crossed the Atlantic during the era of the slave trade, they birthed new music genres in the New World. This profound journey of African music, intertwined with the tragic history of the slave trade, gave birth to some of the most influential music genres we have today. Blues and Jazz African music, steeped in vibrant rhythms and communal spirit, found a new home in the southern plantations of America. The enslaved Africans brought with them a rich musical heritage, defined by intricate rhythms and a unique culture and response pattern. This pattern, a dialogue of sorts between a lead singer and a chorus, became a cornerstone of blues and jazz. It allowed for a dynamic exchange of melodies and emotions, creating a powerful communal bond through music. In the early days, the enslaved Africans fashioned makeshift instruments reminiscent of their homeland's musical tools, the banjo, a direct descendant of the African lute-like instrument. The akonting became a hallmark of early blues music. The deep, resonant sounds of the African drums echoed through the rhythmic foundations of jazz. Blues emerged in the late 19th century, a melodic outcry of the African-American experience. Its soulful melodies, characterized by blue notes and poignant lyrics, painted vivid pictures of the struggles and triumphs of their lives. The African tradition of storytelling through song found a new voice in the blues. Jazz, on the other hand, was born in the vibrant city of New Orleans at the dawn of the 20th century. It was a musical melting pot, blending African rhythms with European harmonies. The syncopated rhythms, improvisation, and the call and response technique of African music found a new expression in jazz. It became a genre that celebrated individuality and spontaneity, resonating with audiences worldwide. African music, in the face of adversity, became a powerful tool for cultural survival and expression. It was transformed and adapted, creating new genres that have shaped the global music landscape. The birth of blues and jazz is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the African spirit forever imprinted in the heartbeats of these genres. African music, in the face of adversity, became a powerful tool for cultural survival and expression, birthing blues and jazz. The infectious beats of African music found a new home in Latin America, infusing local genres with a distinct rhythmic flavor. As the Atlantic slave trade brought African people to South America and the Caribbean, they carried with them their rich musical heritage, which soon permeated the local cultures. Among the Latin music genres, salsa, samba, and rumba stand out as prime examples of African influence. Let's begin with salsa, a dynamic dance genre that emerged in mid-20th 
century Cuba. Salsa's pool-setting writhe, known as the clave, is a direct descendant of African drum patterns. The clave's syncopated beats, characterized by an offbeat rhythm, are a signature element of African music, and they imbue salsa with its irresistible dance-inducing energy. Then there's samba, the heartbeat of Brazil. Samba's rhythm is largely based on the African batuque, a style of music and dance brought to Brazil by enslaved Africans. The signature samba rhythm, with its emphasis on the second beat, mirrors the rhythmic patterns found in many West African drumming traditions. In the vibrant, energetic beats of samba, you can hear echoes of Africa. And let's not forget rumba, a genre that was born in the Afro-Cuban communities of Havana and Matanzas. At the heart of rumba is the complex interplay of drums, which unmistakably points to its African roots. The call and response pattern, a fundamental element of Af African music is also a prominent feature in rumba, further highlighting its African lineage. These Latin genres, among many others, not only incorporated African rhythms, but also African instruments. The conga, bongo, and timbale drums, as well as the maracas and claves, all have origins in Africa. These instruments, played in the African style, gave Latin music its unique, infectious rhythm and contributed to its global appeal. So, as we sway to the intoxicating rhythms of salsa, samba, or rumba, we're not just dancing to Latin music, we're also embracing centuries of African musical tradition. African music didn't just survive in Latin America, it thrived, shaping the region's sonic landscape. From the pulsating beats of pop music to the lyrical flow of hip-hop, the echoes of African music are undeniable. It's an influence that's deeply woven into the fabric of these genres, shaping their rhythm, melody, and lyrical style. In the realm of pop music, the African influence is palpable. The genre's vibrant, infectious beats often draw from traditional African rhythms, creating a sound that's both familiar and refreshingly new. Artists like Michael Jackson and Madonna, who've dominated the pop scene over the years, have frequently experimented with these rhythms, incorporating them into their music to create tunes that resonate globally. The African influence in pop goes beyond rhythmic patterns. It's also evident in the melody and harmony, which often mirror the call and response style prevalent in African music. This interactive musical form has been adopted by many pop artists, adding depth and dynamism to their compositions. Now let's turn our attention to hip-hop, a genre that owes much of its existence to African musical traditions. The African griot tradition, a form of storytelling through song, is the very essence of hip-hop. Rappers are modern-day griots, using their lyrics to tell stories, convey messages, and comment on society. The rhythmic complexity of African music also plays a significant role in hip-hop. The intricate beats and syncopated rhythms characteristic of African drumming are mirrored in hip-hop's beat-making and sampling techniques. This has given birth to a unique sound that's both edgy and deeply rooted in tradition. Moreover, the African influence extends to the lyrical style of hip-hop, the use of proverbs, metaphors, and wordplay, which are integral to African oral traditions, are prevalent in hip-hop lyrics. This not only enriches the genre's lyrical content, but also connects it to a rich culture heritage. The influence of African music continues to be a driving force in the evolution of global pop culture. It's a testament to the power and versatility of African music and the profound impact it has on our global soundtrack. The rhythmic beats, the compelling melodies, the rich lyrical styles, they all bear the unmistakable imprint of Africa, reminding us that music is indeed a universal language that transcends borders. The influence of African music on global cultures is not just historical, it's ongoing and ever-evolving. As we look to the horizon, the imprint of African melodies and rhythms on the global music stage continues to grow, pulsating with vibrancy and innovation. The rise of Afro beats, for instance, has been nothing short of meteoric. This genre, which blends traditional African sounds with modern pop and hip-hop, has been embraced by audiences worldwide. It's not uncommon now to hear African rhythms sampled in chart-topping hits from Drake's One Dance to Ed Sheeran's Shape of You. This trend of incorporating African music into contemporary songs is a testament to its wide appeal and enduring influence. And it's not just about the music, it's about the artists too. African musicians are gaining international recognition, their voices resonating 
beyond the borders of their home countries. Nigerian artists like Burna Boy and Wizkid, for instance, have won prestigious awards on global platforms, showcasing the richness and diversity of African music to a worldwide audience. Furthermore, digital platforms and streaming services are playing a pivotal role in disseminating African music to global listeners. From Spotify playlists dedicated to Afrobeats to Apple Music's Africa Now Radio, these platforms are amplifying the reach of African music, bringing its infectious rhythms and captivating melodies to ears all over the world. However, as we celebrate these strides, it's essential to remember the roots of this music. The strength of African music lies in its authenticity, its ability to tell stories of joy, struggle, love and community. As African music continues to shape and influence global trends, it's imperative that it remains true to its essence, preserving its unique character and cultural significance. Looking ahead, the future of African music influence is bright, filled with promise and potential. As more artists emerge, more genres evolve, and more listeners tune in, the influence of African music is set to continue its rhythmic journey, pulsating across the globe. The rhythms of Africa continue to beat in the heart of global music, shaping its present and future.